begin with the story only on two. A Washington Park family's battle with bed bugs. For nearly three months, the landlord hasn't fixed the problem, despite a city ordinance saying they have to. CBSU's Tim McNicholas is near the apartment. Tim, this has been a nightmare for this family. Yeah, Brad and Erica, a nightmare that won't end. The family says they are still on the lease. They're still paying rent on the unit. But they're staying with friends on and off to try to avoid bug bites. Some of the images inside this apartment, a little unsettling. Oh, there's one right there. Evelyn Hernandez has some up here in the corner. Uninvited guest. And the problem is they're everywhere. They won't leave. We moved in February 28th. And March the 2nd is when I found the first bed bug. Hernandez says she sent the property manager these pictures the morning of March 2nd. She says he came out later that day, sprayed the apartment himself, and left this container behind. And you can't spray this stuff around kids. She lives here with her adult daughter and two young grandkids. He said that we brought the bed bugs with us, and everything that we brought in here was new. And everything that wasn't new was in storage, a dry storage with no air access. So there's no way. The problems persisted, and Hernandez says the property manager did not get her in touch with the professional until more than a month later. A city ordinance states it's the landlord's responsibility to provide pest control services by a pest control professional until bed bugs are gone. And the landlord must provide the services within 10 days of the first bed bug sighting. I tell him, would you want your family to live like this? Hernandez says the pest control company missed an appointment this week, and now, nearly three months after March 2nd, she's still waiting for a professional to kill the bugs. She tried withholding half her monthly rent, and she got a notarized letter telling her to pay up within five days, so she complied. We tried reaching the property manager and he did not answer the door and hung up on us three times. The company is called City Properties Investments. You're getting ate up and he thinks this is okay. It's not. Hernandez says she's working with a lawyer to get out of the lease and leave the bites behind. And that's not all. We pay $1,400 a month for rent and I didn't pay for the bed bugs. I, I, no, I want all my money back and that's just the bottom line. Now, we searched for legal records with the company. We haven't found any lawsuits against them. Uh, we also uh, looked up Secretary of State records, which showed that the company owns at least six other properties. And we also reached out to the city's Department of Public Health to see if they'll be enforcing any penalties here. We will let you know if we hear back. Live in Washington Park, Tim McNicholas, CBS2 News. Brad and Erica. All right, Tim, thank you.